Hello everybody and welcome to Ed Beast playing through Game Dev Tycoon. Let's get started straight away. Company name. Games Limited. Ed Beast. Um, let's go for this guy. Now we'll go for this stripey top. Five years. I have had a little go on this previously, just to get the hang of it before I decided to start recording. So we'll get started with that. Oh, we'll crack on with our very first game. Post apocalyptic. Possibly to make a superhero game. Superhero role playing game on the PC. And we'll call it. Um, let's call it. Hands out. Hero. And um, we'll go with 2D graphics, bump the cost up a bit. Hopefully it'll make it slightly better on the sales front. RPG game. Let's see what we need. To be a little bit heavier on the stories and quests. So we just put all of our resources into that initially. on the level design for the pants out hero just developing a couple of bugs along the way just taking a break but how it's not to it and we'll leave world design and graphics for that some of these bugs before we continue and let's finish it up new topic new combo Can get a few levels let's see what Cruel reviewers have said, waste of money, buy star games, okay buy inform gamer, form your fall from game hero, saying the, so working on the graphics was a good idea. Beast Games Limited, a newcomer in the game industry, has released their first game, Pants Out Hero. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Beast Games Limited will deliver in the future. Well, hopefully better than that, shite. Do a review on our game and try and find out where we went so wrong. Post-release analysis of Pants Out Heroes complete. We've got the following results. Superheroes and RPG is a good combination. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. Um, can we research anything? 
going to just leave topics. I haven't started off with very good topics, I wouldn't say. Let's go for spy. Got some money coming in from Pants Out Hero, but it's not exactly. Revolutionary amount of money, unfortunately. Let's get straight on with the new game. Um, let's go for a spy game. Spy. Spy. Action game. Action has got a couple of plus points. I wonder if we'll go for maybe it's a spy adventure game instead. Capitalise on the PC. We'll call this Larry Pond. Spy Man. Larry Pond Spy Man on the PC. so much in the gameplay. I think if we do a little bit on the engine, take a little bit off stories and quests. We'll see if that saves us at all. Um, so we need to go for a lot of dialogue. Pitch a bit on level design. Pants Out Hero is now off the market. It sold 4,936 units, generating 34,580 in sales. So, not good. Not good. Governor 64 is. Apparently selling well at the minute. Um, for an adventure game, I'd say world design has to be quite high. We'll go for world design and sound. Relatively low graphics. Let's finish that up before we run out of money. New records. Both design and technology. Leveling up our skills relatively well there. And let's release it. Let's see. Let's see what the reviews have said. Whoa, some tens flashing. Oh, number six. I like it, but I start games. That's quite the power from Informed ga Gamer, number 4 and Inspiring. 6 again from Game Hero, quirky but good. And a 6 from all games, it shows potential. They're relatively decent scores, it should bring us a little bit of money in, hopefully. Not bad. Do our game review there, just to see if we can build a couple more research points. Industry news. According to rumours, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known for the wide, widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many, many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles can take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Indeed. Spine Adventure is a great combination. Graphics seem to be quite important, so that's where I slipped up on that one. I didn't think graphics would have been as big a deal on that. Um, 
Let's learn spot. Spot to be a hand you won't have. Larry Pond's by man has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. It's an important milestone in the history of Beast Games Limited. That's good news. Having a bit of a resurgence in sales. Bringing us close, but I think we're going to fall off the market anytime soon. Um, let's do a sports simulation game PC. We'll call it Foofy Fartball. Call it Foofy Fart Balls. Larry Pond Spyman is now off the market. It sold 11,500 units with 81,000 sales. Not bad. Um, definitely working on the engine. I would say we would need a little bit of gameplay for the, the simulation sports game. Don't need any storyline or quests. Um, I wouldn't have thought we'd need any dialogues or level design. I think it'd be all artificial intelligence. Today, an inventor has confirmed recent rumours and have announced their plans to release a home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. You see the the SNES, I, I would say, or at least game devs' version of the SNES. Um, don't think we need any world design. So graphics and sound definitely going to be the one to go for. Some technologies featuring high on high on our sport simulation game, goofy fart fart balls. Come on, and we'll finish that up now. New record in technology, new topic, new combo. Leveled up our stories and quests to level two, so we should have some research there now. Hopefully, head beast working hard. Hopefully, you're gonna get a level two on the next project. And let's see what the game reviewers have said. And another six. I like it from Star Games. And a six, sports and simulations, a great combination, inform gamer. A five has its moments from Game Hero. A five, they shouldn't forget about level design. I thought you would need level design, but hey ho. We'll create our game report. Hi there, I've just finished Foofy Fart Balls and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we can use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let us know and I'll see if I've got some work for you. Jason. Oh, cheers, Jason. Very kind of you to offer. Now, post release analysis Foofy Fart Balls is, balls is complete and we got the following results. The Internet Explorer and it's totally distracted us. Right, let's see if there's any research. Um, go for a dungeon. Let's make, make a dungeon game. And the TES by an inventor has been released. 
possibly that we'd be getting a license for it. thousand though to get the license that we need. A lot of money to develop in them as well so we can't really afford one in make one on the Governor sixty four. Um let's make our dungeon game. Dungeon Dungeon adventure game called Where Where's Call it uh, I can't think. Um, let's call it Dark Dark. Let's just call it Dark Dungeons. Yeah, right as block. Let's go for the old 2D graphics at the minute. Hopefully, we can make a decent game and I'll have a bit of money to put into some more research and get an engine on the go. Um, don't need any gameplay. A little bit on the engine, we'll go heavy on the stories and quests. Oh, come on, little lead beast, this is the way. So, don't need any, I uh, definitely want dialogues. We'll have a little bit of level design in there as well. These fart balls is now off the market. It sold 16,000 units, generating 112,000 in sales. Um, definitely want to work on the graphics. Have a little bit on sound, but a bit on world design also. Heavy on the, definitely heavy on the graphics. A graphical masterpiece. Work out these bugs and then we'll get dark dungeons on the market, hopefully. And let's go. New topic, new combo, lots of level ups. Engines leveled up. Dialogues is leveled up. Level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphics, sound, and Ed Beast himself is all leveled up on this project, so that's good news. First game reviews are in, all oh, fingers crossed. Oh, it's terrible. Number four, an inspiring by Star Games. Five, from informed gamer with has its moments. Six, could have been better by a game hero. Their focus on dialogue served them well. Five from all games. Generally quite terrible reading. It's not too bad on the sales front. I mean that's gonna give us a little bit of money. Uh, generate the game report and then we'll do some research. See if we can't get a few things ready to go for our own game engine. Dungeon Adventures OK combination. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game, so engine not so much on that. On an adventure game, anyway, let's go to research. There's not really a lot we can do with the engine at the minute. 
Well, that's because I, I haven't actually researched it yet. What am I talking about? We'll research so that we can do our own game engines. Dark Dungeons is now off the market. It sold 30,355 units, generating 93,000 in sales. Not too bad. And we've researched custom game engine, which has allowed us to do mono sounds. And we can have the research do that. Oh, we need a little bit more. Um, I think we're going to end this episode here, actually. So let's quickly go in and save it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like the video and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.